Hello dear students. Today we are going to try and see the experiments that we are learning uh, in this virtual platform and just as a change because we have been seeing a lot of videos of the experiments that we have been learning virtually online so I thought why not show it to you while I actually do it in the lab. So today we are going to focus on study of uh, amylase wherein we have already learned the theory of it so I'm not going to repeat that. What we are going to use is 1% starch agar so you can see that starch agar looks a very clear agar okay so on this I am going to isolate organisms you could actually do a T streak isolation a pentagonal uh, isolation that you want to do or you could also go for just a spot inoculation okay so that is also enough because what you have to look for is just for uh, the clearance once you flood it with iodine because wherever there is no intact starch once the starch is degraded you will see that uh, the coloration around that particular colony is not going to be bluish black which normally happens when you bring iodine and starch in contact with each other so you will see that the entire plate will turn bluish black except for the zone around the uh, colony which is an amylase producer so I'm going to start with the process of inoculation and I'm going to incubate this plate depending on the organism that I streak over it and uh, then 24 hours later we will flood it with uh, iodine and we will see how it looks like. Hello everyone. So here I am after 24 hours of passing bacillus on starch agar. So I'm going to show you as to how the growth is looking like and what are going to be the next steps for checking if this bacillus uh, strain that I have isolated on the starch agar is it an amylase producer. So let us first look at how the growth is looking like on the plate. So right now this is how the growth on the plate is looking like and uh, we are going to flood this particular plate with iodine. And if there is amylase production that is taking place by this particular strain of bacillus, uh, we will see that all the uh, parts of the agar will turn bluish black except for the area around uh, the colonies because that's where there will be amylase production and the starch would be broken down. And uh, iodine cannot bind to the uh, areas where there is no starch. Okay, so let us quickly flood this with iodine and see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first place the plate on the sink and uh, very gently I am going to flood it with iodine. So I will first remove the lid very carefully, place it aside and I am going to flood the plate with iodine so that I will be able to see if it is an amylase producer. So I think it's very clearly visible right now that uh, there is no bluish black color around the colonies. It's very clearly seen that the zone around the colonies is completely clear, right? And this is basically because uh, the starch there has been broken down by uh, amylase that has been produced by the bacillus okay so you are able to see that the zone around the colonies is completely clear but while the rest of the area is turning bluish black so this indicates that the strain that we are testing for is indeed an uh, amylase producer so this is the back view of the plate after I have drained out the excess of iodine so you could very clearly see that how there is clearance around the colonies and that's pretty much evident, right? So you are just going to flood the plates with iodine and you will be able to see this result. 